Hello, Luna Neela here. Today's Wednesday, October 6, 2010. A couple weeks ago, I made an apron for myself. Um, I designed it myself. It's made out of pillow ticking from a company that's been making pillow ticking since the 1800s. I got this at Walmart. Um, and I just kind of adjusted and adjusted until it fit me the way I liked it. Um, this is for my cell phone. I discovered that to keep an apron from gaping up here, you want the neck strap to come straight down. Like you don't want the neck strap to attach to the bib part way out here because it'll compensate, it'll, it'll draw in. So you, you just want to make sure that the neck strap can come straight down and attach to the bib right here and you won't have any gappage. I put a couple big pockets because um, when I'm running around cleaning house, you know, there's always stuff on the floor I got to pick up and stuff like that. And also for washing dishes, I wanted the pillow ticking is it's a nice uh, the thickness of twill anyway. And I used a, a pre-folded denim hem tape or bias tape. So I made it fit me just so that, you know, it just, everything was in the right place. Um, I'm not going to model it because that wouldn't be a pretty sight. Um, I have a Winnie the Pooh belly. And I've been pretty careful not to show it off. But anyway, um been working on my cross stitch at work. Uh, I got the angel's hair and halo put on and her face finished. I got her wings done on some of her sleeves. Um, my pin cushions, I sure have been talking those up, haven't I? Oh, I forgot the pattern, but I did show it last time, I think. A little uh, schnibbles pattern by the Rosie Quilt Company that I bought at Fiber Arts Fair. And one of my favorites was the courthouse steps. And I used uh, Moda Holly Jolly um, Christmas fabric charm pack. I didn't use the whole charm pack up. It really doesn't take much. This is filled with uncooked rice, although they recommend crushed walnut shells. And I think it's probably because that would not attract critters. That was real fun. And it's foundation piece. Um, it's just a nice weight. I'm going to make at least three for my sewing room. One for where I sew at my sewing table, one for my cutting table, and one for my pressing center. This uh, pin cushion pattern has four different little miniature quilt tops. And I, I, you know, I've never done this kind of piecing. This is called shoe fly, and mine came out really wompy, so I call it swatted fly. Um, these triangles are all supposed to be the same size. Um, but I use the same Moda charm pack, except for this cherry red swirl fabric, which I love, 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 and this green, but I think it works pretty well. I really love this peppermint candy striped fabric. This came out pretty big for a pincushion. I don't know. It may work on my cutting table because my cutting table is four feet by six feet, and I don't think I'm going to have to cut it down because my new sewing room is a lot bigger than that other one with the green walls with the beadboard behind when I did my TTMT there. So anyway, with the huge cutting table, maybe this larger size pin cushion, you know, won't get lost underneath all the stuff in the creative process. Um, then I made, I want to make a long, thin one um, pin cushion to go... You know, you're sewing at your sewing machine, and you, you sometimes toss your pins right over on the bed by the motor of the sewing machine. So I want kind of a long, skinny pin cushion just to set right in there. Um, I don't have a ruler, but this this will end up being fairly narrow because I've still got to put the backing on and, and turn it inside, right side out. But I'm thinking that for that. And I don't know what I was thinking. I got all these strips cut out while I was at work a week or so ago. And I was intending on using some of them for a courthouse steps. And ding dong, I um, made them all into strips. So 
These could easily be cut in half, and I could make two pin cushions out of one strip. I want to give one to each of my daughters, um, even though they don't all sew. Um, maybe someday they will, and they make fun bean bags. I don't know. Drum roll. Open Gen asked if anybody could um, help donate prize items for the Harry Potter paper piecing group on LJ for her monthly prizes. So I thought, when after I made one of these pin cushions, I thought, oh, and it was right around the time the shrinking solution challenge was going on. So I thought I could shrink down a Harry Potter pattern, one of Open Gen's paper piecing patterns, and make a little pin cushion. But I chose the chocolate frog box. This is the first one I made, and I don't know, I'd say it's about three and a half by four, filled with um, uncooked rice. Um, this one went smooth as silk. Um, didn't make any mistakes on it. Added a border to bring it up to size. I used the yellow on the back. Um, picking the colors was tons of fun. The second one took three tries. It came out a lot smaller. I'll explain these black lines here. The first time, what did I do? Oh, I trimmed a, a seam allowance too close and it ended up getting rid of the stitches. The second time, oh, so then the pattern was all in pieces, so I um, taped it back together. Well, that warped it. It didn't work out. The third time, I almost didn't make it, but, but I finally got it. And the turquoise and the purple turned out to me to not be enough of a contrast, light and dark, so I did a very narrow zigzag to help delineate the blue from the turquoise. Um, so that's that one. And real quick, I'm working on dish towels, knitting them. I've decided knitting with cotton is way easier than crocheting with cotton. Um, need to get five done by Friday and I'm using uh, white and gumdrop and I'm going to cut it off there and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.